Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dave from Go Gamers, and today we have a PS5 with the blinking blue light of death issue. Now, what this PS5 is doing, it's just constantly just pulsating blue. It stays on the entire time. It just pulsates blue and blue and blue, never goes white, never cuts on, never shows anything on the screen. Now, this video is going to be structured a little bit different because my mic was cut off during a video, so I decided just to do a voiceover um, instead of just waiting for another PS5 to come in with the blinking blue light of death issue, I had multiple people ask me how to do a easy fix for this one. Now, what I typically do is I usually do a reball, but today I'm going to show you guys a easy trick to get this up and running very, very easy. Now, obviously, you're going to need to be able to break the PS5 down to at least where we're at right now. If you guys want to watch my disassembly video or just go on YouTube and just type in PS5 disassembly, you should be able to search up something pretty quick and easy just to get it down to right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some washers and what you could do is you could get these washers from Menards, Home Depot, any hardware store. And as long as it's the same size washer that works for the screws over the clamp that holds down the heat sinks, that's all that matters. Now, just to let you guys know what happens with these APU processors over time, the solder balls crack or if you drop the PS5, the solder balls will crack. The APU processor will detach from the motherboard because any of those solder balls will crack. So what we're doing is we're forcing the APU processor to reconnect with the motherboard. And if this doesn't fix your issue, then you're for sure going to need to be able to do a reball um, on that APU processor, which is a whole entire process, which I can be able to do, but I will have to show you guys in a different video. Let's go ahead and get this done. So as you can see, I've already did it to this one right here. I put, I this is what I do. You can go down to Home Depot, any hardware, hardware store and get these washers dirt cheap. You just wanna make sure these washers are the ones for this screw. So if you want to, when you disassemble it, take this screw out, Go down to your local Home Depot, Menards, or whatever, and just make sure that this screw matches the washers. You're going to put three washers in here like this. If you could be able to see that. I got three washers in there. I know it's kind of out of focus, but that's what I got in here. I put three washers in here, and I'll put it on there just like that. Now I'm going to take my Phillips drill bit, and we're going to drill it in there. And just drill it not too deep in there because you don't want to go too far in there just just deep enough to where it, it feels tight and what we're doing is we're forcing the clamps to force that heat sink down and to force the heat sink to press against that apu processor and that apu processor fully reconnect with the motherboard so that's pretty much it now we was able to successfully get this ps5 up and running no problems no issues now if you guys do continuously have more issues after this quick and easy fix that i gave you guys in this video please let me know um or if you still need some help um you can also just reach out to me in an email or anything like that and i can try to just get you helped out as quickly as possible or if you want to ship in your ps5 for repair also don't forget to subscribe like this video, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya.